Hi, we're Veronica and Joe, grad students at the University of Toronto, and we'd like to present our work on probabilistic object level change detection and volumetric mapping in semi-static scenes. Recently, we've been seeing a lot more robots being deployed in human-centric environments, like a warehouse robot carrying product around its facility. However, long-term autonomous operation is still a big challenge, as a key issue is that the semi-static changes that occur, like shelves and boxes appearing, disappearing, and shifting over time. Failing to properly update the map when the scene changes can lead to failed localization and lost robots. We aim to develop a system to track semi-static changes in the scene and produce an up-to-date map reflecting the current scene configuration. In this presentation, we introduce an object-level probabilistic mapping method to tackle this challenge. The proposed method is verified on a real-world semi-static warehouse data set, which we release with this work. To begin with, we take a look at the overview of the proposed system. Our system takes RGBD frames, semantic masks, and camera poses as inputs. At each frame, coin clusters are first extracted, and the clusters are associated with the mapped objects, while new objects are spawned. The volumetric model is also constructed for each point cluster. Then, we compute the geometric error for each associated object observation pair by comparing their volumetric models. With the geometric error and the semantic labels, an object-level state distribution is propagated to estimate each object's stationarity. Finally, an updated map is generated based on the reliable objects with high stationarity scores. A core of the system is the object-level joint state, uh, state distribution. Imagine our robot comes across a pallet in the warehouse. The current distribution models the geometric change of the pallet to be 3 cm and its stationarity score to be 90%. The depth sensor then measures the geometric area of 2 cm with, with a predicted statistical label of likely static. Now our system needs to decide if the pallet has moved or not. To answer this question, we can apply base rule to consistently and iteratively update the, state, the object state with the new measurements and the previous estimate. We choose a Gaussian beta distribution to parameterize the object state model, as we expect the objects to stay around the original locations in the same static scene, and the static score is ultimately a probability from 0 to 1. We further model the measurement likelihood as a product of geometric and semantic terms. In particular, the geometric term is modeled as a Gaussian uniform mixture, as we expect the geometric error to be a zero mean Gaussian if the object did not move. If the object has changed, then it could be anywhere. On the other hand, the semantic heuristic is modeled as a Bernoulli distribution, and the intuition behind this parameterization is that likely static objects, such as shelves, have high shifts of staying around. Now putting everything together and applying moment matching, we can derive a closed form approximate solution for the posterior. Below, we show the, the evolution of the state model. On the left-hand side, we can see that both stationarity and state confidence increases on the consistent measurements, whereas on the right-hand side, the stationarity score drops significantly on the inconsistent measurements. Now we evaluate our system on a robot in a warehouse. As seen at the top row, the system first builds a, uh, an object-aware volumetric map from scratch when deployed to the U site. After the scene changes, as seen in the second row, the, uh, the system correctly updates the map, reconstructing the shifted boxes when sufficient observations are made. To see our Bayesian model in action, we look at the evolution of the state distribution of a single box in the scene. Now, before the scene changes, the measurements are consistent with the mapped object, so the stationarity score converges to 1 after just two visits of the box. Once the box moves, the robot detects a significant mismatch, which causes the box's stationarity score to drop below a threshold, and it is then erased and reconstructed at its new location. And here we can com we compare against two recent semi-static mapping methods, FAIRS, which performs voxel level updates, and Panoptic Multi-TSDFs, which uses a simple heuristic to estimate the stationarity score. Our method outperforms these in precision on our warehouse data set. The figures here show the final map produced on a sample route. Our object-aware probabilistic method produces the least amount of false positives after a scene change, as shown in red, while maintaining a high level of coverage, as shown in green. In summary, we derived a Bayesian update rule to propagate a object-level stationarity and post-change assessment using geometric and semantic information. We presented a novel online object-aware map update method leveraging the proposed Bayesian object-level update rule. And finally, we release a real-world change detection dataset captured using a robot platform in a warehouse setup. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.